Um, in this step, I'm going to explain about uh, one of the most complicated steps in creating a uh, database system by using Microsoft Access. Um, I'm going to show you first. For example, we have a rent form here, customer form, and the main page for me is a book render shop. If I double click the book render shop, this is the main page. And this page, this step, assuming customer walking into the bookshop, our bookshop, and then they are going to rent uh, some books. Uh, I will start click at renting, and then it will appear uh, the screen like this. So in this case, a new staff going to add new books when the for example GD uh, uh, borrow a Harry Potter so what staff going to do they click here for a new blank record and then they shoot they choose the book so they can type Harry Potter they shoot the customer they can type GT and then drag uh, drop down this box and then choose and the rental date click here and then choose today and click save okay we will see that in rent table okay we have records here um, so how can we create this okay how can we create this I will do this I'll delete the record we have here first and then I delete query. Okay, I close all form here, and I should not have the rent form here. So that means I'm going to create rent form like this. I'll delete this. Okay. So what you have? You have book tables. You have book names. In this table, you have customer, of course. Here, your customer, and you have rent table prepared to store the book ID, customer ID, and rent date. Okay, this already prepared. So, how to create rent form? First of all, we need to make sure that you have created relationships between tables already so how to check that okay you go to database 2 and then click relationships and what you can see from this the table rent you uh, should have relationships by book ID you have a line along the way to ID here and Customer ID, you have the relationship to the customer ID here. The key in front representing the primary key. Okay, if you have this, that means you have done the relationships and you are ready to go to next step. Okay, I'm going to close this. At the next step, you need to create query. So go to create and choose query. Okay, go to query wizard and choose simple query wizard and click OK. Um, in this query, we need what we need. We need the first one is the book ID, customer ID, and rent date. Okay, this query we need because we need to store the data into this table. And then click next and next and I will remain this when query and click finish we have when query here icon in front is different from the others because this is book table the icon is book the query is table uh, the icon in front is like a double tables icon and the form that icon will be different and this is a report so once we got query and what next the next one is we are going to create form 
this form will be used for uh, uh, adding new books for uh, uh, for the new uh, for the customer who coming to the shop and going to into rent books. Okay, we create a form. We click rent query and then click form. Okay. This is what we got from the form. Anyway, we don't need this. We right click design view and then I'll scroll down a bit and then I drag here and then I delete them all. The first thing we need, what we need is we need name of the titles of books. So we going to use this. We call list box. Click list box and drag drop here. The list box is going to show all uh, titles of books we have in the table book. So I'm going uh, I'm going to use this the first option and then click next. The table what we need to show information here is from table books and then click next. What we're gonna show we show name of course click next and then from this one we're gonna sort by name of the book and then click next. What we you see here this is the book name book titles appearing on this and then click next. Um, from this step we have to store the value in this field so that's mean we're gonna store the ID from the book table into the rent table in the fields of book ID okay sorry a book ID and click next and what would be list box this is the list 17 so in front of this is the we're gonna change the label to uh, books okay and then click finish I'll make a little bit longer right and then books book ID what we're trying to do we can save this form click save and then I'll change to rent form and then click OK and let's try right click and then go to form view you should be able to see this okay the list box here I'll right click and go to design view again right the next step is I'm going to create customer so we do it again I'll try with other uh, component I'm going to use with combo box I'm create combo box and use this okay and then go to next this will show customer I'll click customer and then click next what will be show in the box name of course Okay, and surname as well and then click next the first thing going to sort is name and after name will be surname and then click next okay what will appear on the screen will be like this and then click next this will be uh, store in rent table I mean the ID of the book ID will store in uh, sorry a customer will store in customer ID and then click next and then the label in front will be the customer and then click finish again I can save and try by using form view okay the differences between combo box and list box is you can see the combo box you can click you need to um, choose and click and but the customer you can type like for example I click type GT and then it will show like this automatically so probably in some cases you need 
list box in, uh, on the top here. In some cases, it's more convenient to use the uh, combo box like the bottom one, like this. Okay, I'm going to create another box for putting dates of renting. Going to change to design view and then going to use this one. It's a label. Click label and drag and drop here. And you can see this is unbound. Okay. Um, on the right hand side, you should be able to see the property. But if you can't see, you can you just right click and go to property, and you see the property here. From this uh, box, if it shows unbound, that means it will not save to any table. So this should be dead, and it will be saved to the table rent in the field of dates. So in the data and control source, we will shoot rent date. Okay, and then at the format, we will shoot. Okay, the format we shoot general day. So in this step, it will automatically generate the calendar for you. You don't have need to type uh, uh, thirteen uh, year uh, month twelve and year two thousand thirteen. You don't need that. You can click at the right, the end, and then you it will display um, the calendar for you. I will show you. I'll create another button first. Create button, and then click drag and drop here. And we need record operation, and add new record, and click next. The new record will be um, add new transaction, for example. That means new, uh, new customer coming, a customer coming to buy to rent a book, and then next, and then finish, add new transaction done. Okay, right click save, and then right click, and then go to form view, and what you can see here, this is a book name. For example, Harry Potter, borrowed by John Standing. And um, if you click here, the calendar will be appear at the end and choose today and add new transaction. Go back to rent. You should be able to see this. This is coming up to the database. All right. Okay, this is to explain how to uh, make query and make form and to store the data from uh, the ID from two tables into another table. Okay.